Courtney and Ryan here with your weekly Money Minutes. And this week we wanted to talk to you guys about why you need to make sure that your portfolio over the next 10 years is going to look a lot different than it has over the last 10 years. And we need to make sure we're keeping up to date with that. Uh, but what are some things you've seen over the last 10 years and how has your portfolio been good in that way? I mean, we had deflation, meaning interest rates were actually coming down. Yeah. Yeah. If you think about mortgage rates, they were really low for a while there and they're starting to go back up again. Yeah. Also, it was a U.S. centric market. The U.S. Yeah. was the only game in town. The U.S. was the only place really around the world that was truly growing. Mm-hmm. Um, and if you had a U.S. centric portfolio, you did really, really well. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, whereas over the next 10 years, we're seeing more of a globalized growth where all countries around the world are all growing together. So you don't want to be so focused in the United States. Is that right? Yeah, that's right. And a lot of markets around the world are actually growing faster than U.S. and a lot cheaper, coupled with the fact that cost of living is going up, inflation is going up, which means the same portfolio is not going to work the way it did the last 10 years. Exactly. So making sure that you're not focused too much in the United States and inflation going up, that has a big effect on bond funds, which are a good thing to reevaluate now where we're in this influx of them going from decreasing to increasing. Yeah, exactly right. So when you look at your portfolio, if it did well the last 10 years, A plus. But remember, that portfolio is not going to get you through the next 10 years. You need to have inflation hedges in your portfolio, a global portfolio. You want to be out of investments like bond funds. And if you want to know how to build the portfolio of the next 10 years, you can click on the link below, connect with one of our real financial advisors. If you want to get our timely weekly information, you can simply click on the subscribe button below. Check us out. You'll get all our information every week. And that's this week's Money Minutes, as always. Be bullish.